Hi guys, so firstly I just want to say thank you so much for the love and support you guys gave me in my last video. Today I'm going to be showing you my tan routine, products I know that work for me. I'm talking about my laser hair removal, so let's get straight into it. The night before I normally do my tan, I would normally have a shower and shave. The next morning I would get up and I would have another shower and I would exfoliate using Soap and Glory body exfoliator or I would use this Lush Rubber Rub Shower Scrub. It actually smells so good. It is a sea salt scrub for your body and hair. Oh my god the hell okay <laughs> so i would use that on my body to exfoliate my body and then to exfoliate my face i use here this is murda probably not pronouncing that right is a wee exfoliating cleanser the, the bits in this are really small so it's really soft on your skin whenever i was getting my laser hair removal i got it for exfoliating them areas but i actually find it works better on my face i will get stuck into doing my tan here and show you how i do it i accidentally lifted bellamiante ultra dark i normally lift dark and i find this tan doesn't smell so i've just got this wee be perfect mitt. I like using like a mitt like this because it's nice and thick. So I put about two pumps on and then smush it into my hand. So I'll do the first layer on my arm. Done my laser this morning so after I exfoliate I get out the shower and then I do my laser at home because I, I went to therapy clinic and I got laser. I mean I can tell you a lot more about it whenever I finish doing my tan. I'm going to show you how I actually do this. So over my underarm I just do one swoop. Make sure to always shake the bottle and before you pump it into your hand so it goes to the mousse form. So I'm going to do my second layer. Having a second layer, make sure you haven't missed anywhere and it also means that you're going to be nice and tan because a lot of the time whenever you get into the shower, it does wash off quite a bit and I do like to be really dark. I try to avoid the armpit on my second layer. So I'll go to the side where it has nothing on it. Sweep over it so it blends. Doing two pumps, squeezing it and then applying from the forearm. I do two layers definitely all over. So now I'm just going to turn the mitt to where it is dry and pat it over so there's no lines. Okay, so I'll show you how I do my back. Two bumps on my mitt, squeeze it. For my hands and my feet, I haven't touched them yet, as you can see. There's a line and there's a seam on my feet. With this being a moisturiser, it's going to keep it not as heavy on your hands. My mitt. Now I'm going to take my tan, give it a shake and pump, one pump. Mix it together. Try not to get it on your nails. That is my hands done. What I'm gonna do now is my face. So I've got my Clinique moisturizer on already. Belly Mianda Ultra Dark, and I'm gonna mix it with the Self Tanning Gradual Moisturizer. So this here just helps exceed your tan and help it last longer. But why I'm using it on my face is because I don't wanna use the Dove one on my face. It's just for body. This here is for face and body, and it's gonna be softer on my skin, not make it as dark on my face. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on my mitt, and I'm also gonna put half a pump. The tan itself it looks like this. Mix it together on my brush. Start here as if I'm bronze in my face. So this is just like contouring your face with tan. <laughs> I'm just gonna lightly then brush it all over and blend it with my neck. So that is how I do my tan. I'm gonna jump forward here into the fuel cha. I'm gonna wash this off probably before I go to bed or in the morning. I'm gonna leave it on for about eight hours. So this is the day after I done my tan. And you can see that it's nice and developed. Left my tan on till nine, half nine last night. I washed it off before I went to bed. I actually had two showers from I done my tan. So I had one last night and then I had one this morning after the gym. So this is my tan rinsed off twice. My very first shower, I like to just get a quick body shower. Let the water rinse it off. Rinse away all that slimy kind of feeling. Not that it feels like that whenever it's on your skin. Just when you get into the shower, you know the feeling of it. You just wait till that sort of rinses away use a bit of soap just rub it over your skin really gently then we're getting out of the shower dab your skin dry with the towel and your tan will last so well my tan normally lasts a week i have to scrub it off myself belly Mante would be one of my absolute favorites this one here the reason i love belly Mante is because it doesn't feel sticky on your body either to me it doesn't have a smell i'll actually read what it says on the um, front of the pack here so you get an idea ready to wear color which it does you could put this on before a night out or anything and just head out 
yes, you would be a bit more sticky and things on the night out, but it means you don't have to wait for it to develop. It gives an olive tone. Oh my goodness. The tone of this is just, I mean, I just absolutely love that. It doesn't go streaky for me. I find this tan as well wears off quite well for me. I do to keep my tan up throughout the week. I will be putting on my Dove tan. So if I put that on during the week to help your tan not crack and moisturize your skin, keeps it looking fresh. I would also use the St. Moritz Velvet Finishing Gel. I actually really like this. I put this on sometimes as well with my hands and my feet. I actually find before a night out, I could put that on my legs and it would give them more of a glow. It doesn't really add more color because my tan's normally dark anyway, but it gives it more of a glow. And definitely throughout the week, I will use this probably once tanning gradual moisturizer. This is the one I used in the video for my face as well. I do really love this one for my face. I try just to use it on my face, although you can use it on your body. I love it so much. I don't want to use it too quick. I find your face tan wears off fast, faster than everywhere else. Obviously because you're wearing makeup, you're cleansing your skin, you're toning every night. I uh, use St. Moritz Natural Glowing Skin. So this is just for your face. So this is a browning face mist. All you do, it's so nice, I'll actually put it it smells so good. I would do that at night time and sometimes in the morning to help keep the tan on my face along with my belly man day. So I actually forgot to tell you guys in the video. So I normally moisturize my skin and um, before I do my tan a few good hours before. This way it's not going to affect the tan, how it sits on your skin. I'm going to tell you about my laser hair removal as well. This is such a big thing for me because I always, always have wanted it. I always find after I shave, I would always have dark marks under my arms and things. And you can see now that I just, I don't, my underarms are a lot lighter than they ever were before. And it makes me so much happier. I don't feel conscious about it. And also my hair has not really grown back. Now that I haven't had any sessions now, obviously with the lockdown and everything, I find that there's a wee bit of hair now coming back. But that's okay because I just shave it and I'm going to be going back in for more treatments. I decided to get laser on my underarms and my bikini. I can't remember how much it was exactly but I think it was 800. I would normally go every six weeks for a session. It only takes 15 minutes and honestly the pain well at the start the first four treatments didn't hurt me. It was just warm. You knew it was happening but it wasn't painful. The last sessions I have to say pain wise they were nippy. My underarms didn't hurt as much as my bikini did. It's more sensitive obviously your bikini and things. I would say it went up to about a seven. It is sore but it's as I say it's only 15 minutes and then you're done you're out of there. With laser as well you cannot wear your tan. You can wear a tan two days after. Before your treatment you have to have all your tan off. They say try not to wear a tan for two weeks before your treatment. Obviously that's not ideal for everybody. I did try my best to stick to that. I am really weird for following rules. If I didn't have my tan off they're not going to be able to do that area and you're not going to get the most out of your sessions. After the treatments you're not allowed to have hot showers for 48 hours you're not allowed to go into any steam room saunas which is like self-explanatory with a shower and things i did really like going to therapy clinic all the girls in there were quite nice at the start i didn't have a specific therapist i was just kind of going to anyone that was kind of free at the time but then i did get my therapist and she was absolutely lovely i hope they'll there whenever i go back i do find they have offers going on and off all the time at the minute i actually think they have a 70 percent sale the way it works for most people to do is have at least 10 treatments I would say because my hair is so dark if I have them 10 treatments and getting them every six weeks then you continue to go back for them and then once they're finished you just need one treatment on them area every year some people don't need the treatment for a year or two after but I will definitely be getting one or two treatments every year how I weighed up getting it is because I would normally get waxed and that would normally cost me like 40 to 50 quid so if I was getting waxed every four weeks to where getting this done the eight treatments it's saving me money more so in the long run it, it's going to pay off because I'm only going to need two or one treatments a year. But I would definitely say looking into laser hair removal is a good idea if you are maybe self-conscious and you're looking for something like that. I just wanted to let you guys know my journey with it and how much it's worked for me. I bought a laser hair removal machine for home. It is the Burren Silk Expert Pro 5. So this is it here. This is the wee machine. So you have three different levels. You use that once every week for 12 weeks and that says that it will kind of do the same job. So until I have my laser hair removal again in store with Therapy Clinic, I will be using this at home. Hopefully that machine works. I will let you know if I'm using it for the 12 weeks, if it's working as laser did in Therapy 